Well, welcome back, everybody. It's me, GSD, back again with some more Worse Than Death. This is it. We have to find out what's going on. Are we going to get some closure? No way. We're not turning back now. The display cabinet has been smashed open. Jack's trophies have all been thrown aside. Door is screwed. Oh, no. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? I didn't see what that was. Grace's, mor Grace's memorial. It hasn't been touched at all. More pictures? Everything that was here has been tossed aside. Even the guest book from the reunion has been violently torn up. Door. This was to where? The gym? Oh god, Flynn! This can't be! This is insane! Everyone is... Everyone that was at the reunion is dead! Oh no, even Carol! Uh, H Holly? W what is it? Run! Flynn? Just go! Hide! What? What? I didn't realize it! I, uh, uh, oh, oh, oh! I did not know! Oh my god, Flynn, this is gonna be... We're gonna die! Everybody's just... Meat now. I slick with it, yo. Can I go back out there, real quick. It it's gone for now. Where did that thing come from? I need to get back to Flynn. All right, so we can explore a little bit. Let's explore a little bit first. Science room. Hide there, but it looks like more racks and ransacked. Ransacked than before. These are definitely the same containers I found at the sawmill. Got an achievement. Ruiner. Oh, he donezo. What is this on the board? The blackboard has scribbles on it that weren't here the last time. Doing this for you. What the hell does that mean? Oh my god, it's Mr. Sartain. Or, what's left of him? It looks like he was carved open and left here to bleed to death. He's a bit of a slime ball, but he didn't deserve this. Hey, wait. Something metal in his hand. Found a blurry key. Get that blurry key. Take that blurry key and get the blurry out of here. Can I go back the way I came from? What does this say here? These notices were supposed to tell students what to do if roads became washed out due to floods. They couldn't have prepared us for anything like this, though. Damn it, the door's jammed shut! I won't be able to get back into the gym this way. Flint! Flint, can you hear me? There's no answer. I'll have to find another way around to the main lobby. <laughs> Blech. Can't go up, it's blocked. The stairs to the second floor are completely blocked off. The door's lock seems to have been broken. Crap, just as I thought, it's in here now. Go in here. And then I'd be gone when I go back out? This is the biology class. Is it gone now? No! Let's, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a little break and look around here, shall we? That I don't want to look at just yet. One of the frog dissection posters. I never had the stomach for that stuff. That's why I took chemistry class instead, even though I wasn't good at it. The classroom supply cabinet is filled with tools and other things. I can probably get in here, 
but it's locked and needs a key. Well, I had a blurdy key, but the blurdiness won't let me open. There's an eyeball in there for some reason. Uh, let's get out of here. Gotta find a different key other than the blurdy key. Nothing here. What's this? A slide projector is being set up on one of the desks. It looks pretty grimy. Looks like there are three slides missing from the carousel. So, 21... Wait, 2, 4, 6, 8. So, we're missing slide 22. Uh, 20... 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14... 11. 11. And, let me get my mouse out here. If this is 28... So, 22, 4, 6, 8... Oh, sorry, 22, 23, 24. No, this is 22, sorry. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. So 33, 22, and 11, I think. Uh, 11, 22, 33. It might be a combination to a lock. Perhaps? Crap, I forgot. I gotta get in here. Nope. So close by. Uh. Ooh, that was a close one, yo! I'm going this way. I'm not anywhere. Okay, so. We have a blurdy key. Was the stairs. A torn looking sign indicates that the door here leads to the school's boiler room. Hiding spot. Yup! Open that. Ugh, it's so dusty in here. It must be a storage room for the custodians. With this every level of this shelf is stuffed with cleaning supplies chemicals and rags something interesting there's a drawing taped up to a box here on the shelf it looks like a rising sun don't forget uh, I won't forget because I'll take a screenshot of that B 200 degrees Fahrenheit at sunrise there are packs of light bulbs, replaced replacement bolts and washers, and all sorts of stuff. Boiler room. Hey, there's a dirty old slide back here, hidden amongst some parts of a boiler. The slide has the number 12 written on it, in permanent marker. What? I thought it was 11! Okay, so it's 12, 22, and 33. God dang it. Where else can I go? I guess we have to go in here. It's warm in here. The storage shelf is missing many items. It looks like someone went through almost every box and container. I don't like that. There's that. Hiding spot in that. And this. The hand-drawn notice here is from the school's head custodian. Came up with this wick new idea to keep the kids safe so we don't get a mess like last time. If the boilers aren't set right, I rigged the doors to lock so nobody gets hurt. Just set them back to the right temps. There's a drawing tape up to the wall. It looks like a setting sun. 30 degrees Celsius. So the rising... And then there's... The door to the other part of the school seems locked for some reason. Get over. Uh, okay, so what this one is, and this one is. This is 200. East. Oh. 
The sun rises in the east and sets in the west. This is easy. Looks like there's a gauge here for some kind of temperature. Uh, 200. I have to turn this. What do I gotta do? Oh. Uh, let me use my mouse. It's easier. Do 20... 10... 100? I think the boiler's been adjusted correctly. It's settled down. Easy. This is 30. Okay, let's use the... Uh, the power of the Mouser. Oh, Fahrenheit. Oh no, Celsius. 30 Celsius would be here. This boiler seems to be at the correct temperature now. It's not making so much noise. It seems like both boilers are operating safely now. It's much less warm in here. That's not good. You want it to be warm, otherwise stuff's gonna like freak around in here. I wonder if I should go back. That dude's still like mucking about. Yeah, he's still mucking about. I feel like I need to get all three slides, but I don't know if I should go through this first and then come back. I must I must have to come back for some reason. So let's keep moving forward. I wonder if there's multiple endings. Seems like there's gonna be some dark, scary shh. Now that the boilers are working properly, the safety lock has been released. Not good. Hey, this this is the art and music wing of the school. That means the door at the end of the hall leads back to the gym. Are you kidding me? You can't do that! I'm like, what? Hold up, yo. Yeah, 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 yeah. What the ass? It's gonna go crazy in here too? No. Okay. Long loading for this section, eh? Go here, wait for it to pass, because it's close. Come back. What is this? Warm looking sign indicates that the door here leads to the school's boiler room. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get in. Get in! Get in! I got in! You kidding me right now? That would have been a failure. Three and it's over on hard mode. That's unfair, yo. Get in the goddamn locker. Stupid. Dumpy looking heart monster thingy. Come back and keep going so I can read what this shit is in the locker. Get your hard ass away from me. Thank you. What's this? Nothing. Go in here. Get out. Move. Thank you, asshole. Display of paintings, drawings, and sculptures from the art class. It's being smashed to pieces. Enter the door. Phew! It's our old art class. It hardly looks like it's changed at all. Art was never my thing, but I remember both Grace and Carol were both really impressive. A half-finished sculpture of Bruce Murray, the founder of Bruce Bay. Looks so similar to that big statue that was in the library. Nothing here. Diagram of a body. A crude note has been taped up on the wall. It looks like it was written with oil sticks. I told the tale here of how you were wronged. Do you see it? Forgive me. They're out of order. It's a drawing of a car crash smashing violently into a tree. Oh, this is what happened? How she was wronged? It's an angry looking drawing of an angel rising up from a wreck of some kind. Her spirit is rising from the the wreck? There's a box of blurred. The pencil drawing of a car swerving on an icy road. Oh, it's out of order. 
It's a drawing of an angel behind a dark figure. It'd be this, then this, then this, then this. So, three, one, two, four, if we have to remember this. Classroom shelves are packed with art supplies and student projects. Looks like a lot of the drawing tools were taken. Three, one, two, four. There's a slide here under glass, but the case is shut tight. There has to be a way to open it in here. Need another hammer or something? Crap. Okay. Three, one, two, four. This is the music room, but why is it so dark? This is gonna scare me with something dead over there. I can barely see it. I don't want to go near it. We're gonna have to go near it. Uh, what is this? There's something here in the chair, but it's too dark to see. There's a music she stand here, but it doesn't have anything on it. This is the same old piano that was used when we were in school, but it looks like it's been smashed violently. There's blood all over. Like it was struck with something heavy. Even the keys have been broken. Get, get off. Yeah. Next, you. What is this? There's a music sheet some of some kind here. But there doesn't seem to be anything on it. Found music sheet. Nothing else. Right? Okay. There's nothing else here. So we put this on here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know what to do. Grab it. Place it. The sheet wasn't blank after all. What the hell does that mean? Keep your eyes to yourself. The lights are back on! Oh god, the chair! Gotta yeah, explore a little more. So, who this? Oh, how awful. His eyes have been gouged out of his head. He's wearing a blue uniform. There's an ID badge on one of his pockets. It says it's the head custodian. It looks like a single key. This key is so small, so I don't think it'll open the way to the gym. It just has a single hastily written word on this label. Biology? Who or what could do such a thing to this poor man? What was this? Flynn used to try to play drums in here to impress the girls. I have to admit, even I thought he was cool. Get ready. Now this storm see now the door seems to open just fine. Biology. We gotta go back through. This is the art hall, right? Okay, let's uh, get my stamina back first before I venture out. Actually, I shouldn't need it here. This is custodian area. This is back to biology. Okay, we're in biology, right? Open the case. He, 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 yeah. Nice. The key I found in the custodian. There's an eyeball and some other she in here. There's so much stuff in here. What is this? It's the custodian's eye. Oh my god, there's a human eye here. It looks damaged. Like somebody gouged it out. Ah, what is this? There's a faded looking old slide tucked away in here. It has the number 22 written on it perm in permanent marker. Got it. There's a scalpel stored here. It looks like it's been cleaned recently. 
The container of some kind of disinfectant for lab equipment. Some of the fluid has been used. Nothing else, right? Eyeball. We only have two of the three slides. Where else do I need to go? Can I put it in here right now and see what what's what? A slide projector is uh, okay. Twelve. Me two. Okay. Oh yeah. We need one more. Saved. We need something to smash open the door with, though. Phew! All right. So I gotta find something to break down that art case with the blurred in it. I don't think there's anything in here. Use. Maybe it has to do with the pictures still. I take one of these? No. Yeah. Wait a sec for a sec. Just so that you don't dur. Alright. Try and get back to the art room. Where is it? It's behind me? Oh, it's in front of me. Ah! I'm an idiot. The door is being locked with some kind of makeshift pin pad. It looks like somebody rigged this out of spare parts. Now, what could the code be? Alright, let me get my, my mouse over here. It was three, one, two, four. Three, one, two, four. No? Three, one, two, four. Uh, three, two, one, four. And uh, no. Uh, three, one, four, two. No. Hmm. 12, 22, 33, 12, 22, 33. No. Huh. Maybe it's in here. of an angel behind a dark figure. I'm going to serving on the icy road. Angel from a wreck. Smashing violently into a tree. What the frig was that? Did you hear that? What was that sound? Did I read it in the wrong order? Hear that? Maybe it's this. I gotta read it in the order. You, oh! He rose from the ashes. Now she's following a dark figure. All right. Hey, there's a filthy looking old slide here now. I can't make out what the image is in here, but 
The number 34 is written on the slide in permanent marker. 34? Can I not open this still? Okay. Let's try that door then. It'd be 12, 22, 34. If I go to this, try this out. 12, 22, 34. No. We'll probably know what it is when we go back to the uh, slide. Okay, last slide. Slap that bean. This one is 33. What the hell is wrong with me? Nice. Okay, all three slides are in place. Now let's see what was on them. Got an achievement. You're projecting. Oh crap! There's some creepy deaky. Sh uh, eight five three. 853 or 1853? 1853. The projector is looping through its carousel of slides. What does any of them mean? One eight five three one eight five three one eight five three. One eight five three. I think it's one eight five three, y'all. One eight five three. Did I escape or did I die? Oh, I made it! What if I go back out? Ha! Fooled you, asshole! Alright, we done did it, y'all. Trick the tricks, tricking with trickliness. 1853. 1853. 1853. Can be any variation of that, though. One five eight three one eight five three one eight five three one one eight five three one eight five three one eight five three Okay. No. Okay. One eight five three. Nice! That did it! I can finally get back to the gym! Get inside, day. I made it back to the lobby. Now to get to the gymnasium, I'm so Flynn. Got an achievement. The way out is through. <gasps> me leaving this goddamn town, cause I ain't done with. I'm not, not dealing with this no more. Let me out. All right, all right. I'll go and save Flynn. <gasps> Flynn, are you here? Oh my god. Flynn, answer me! Damn it, he's out cold. Wait, what the hell is that? Father, you must stop. Grace, I, I knew it. I knew you were there. All this time, I knew you would see what I was going doing and you'd understand. Understand? Look around you, father. Why have you done this? F for you, of course. Why else would I have done what I've done? Gone to the lengths that I've gone. I don't understand. You've murdered classmates, friends. Grace, don't you see? They weren't your friends. They wronged you, every last one of them. This whole town, you were always too good for them. The way they goaded you for being poor, the way they denied you even a proper burial. I tried to fight back, sweetheart. Believe me, I told the paper, I even had that idiot Virgil take photos of his proof. No, not Virgil too. But even he betrayed me in the end, more concerned about money than seeing that justice got done. Those twins, that teacher and his perversions. Everyone only cared about themselves and their secrets, but never you, never my angel. Father, I was never an angel. Not now, not then. Nonsense. Jack thought so too, and I'll admit, Jack proved to be the most difficult. 
He was a buffoon, but in the, his own way, he loved you, Grace. But he found out I was tipping the paper off about his little side business at the sawmill, so it couldn't be helped. And after I was admitted to the hospital, he kept showing up to keep me quiet. For months he loomed over me, threatening me when the nurses weren't looking. You can't imagine how angry I became. I might have gone a little overboard with him. He was my first one, you see, and he caught me off guard. But that... that feels like so long ago now, and so you're the only one left, Flynn. You were supposed to protect her. Take care of her! You were supposed to be better than the others! What's more, you were like my son, and because of you, my angel is gone. It should have been you that died in that car accident. And now I'm gonna make things right. Stop! It wasn't his fault! You! What are you doing here? Listen to me! Th this is insane! This isn't going to make anything right! Whatever you thought of, of Vanessa or Jack or anyone else, they didn't deserve what you did to them. What do you know about it? You of all people should understand. You are the only one who never did any harm. But that's not... that's not really true. A week before their accident, I sent Grace and Flynn a letter. It took me months to work up the courage to write it, and I was so afraid of what would happen when they finally read it. But they never did. Flynn proposed to Grace, and she accepted, and then a few days later, they hit that tree and everything changed. I don't know what happened to the letter. Maybe it got lost? Maybe somebody threw it out? But Flynn was so heartbroken that, for the last two years, I decided that I want to, that what I wanted to say didn't matter anymore. But then, we were all invited to this reunion. And I decided to finally tell Flynn the truth that I'd kept in for so long. We're best friends, right? It should have been easy. But now that I've seen that he can't move on, I don't know if I can. You see, I, I never really wanted the two of them to get married. She loved Grace. Grace, it, it really is you, isn't it? You've been there this whole time, haven't you? Back in the hallway after the reunion, or even in that trailer, all of those times it was you trying to warn me, wasn't it? Holly, I don't know how, but suddenly I was aware of things, and I couldn't... and I could feel you there. I was just trying to break through. I know... I know that now. And I'm so, so sorry. I wish I could have seen... I wish I could have said this when you were alive instead of letting it eat away at me all this time. We were all so close, but for me, it was more than that. You were more than just a friend to me, Grace. I... I always loved you. What? Holly, I... I never knew, I swear it! I know. For a while, I thought you two had read my letter and Flynn was upset, and that's what caused the accident. But I was so afraid to ask Flynn about it, so I said nothing, and in doing so, I... I let you both down. So you see... We all had our secrets here. Even me. What are you going to do now? Are you going to murder me like you did all the others? I was wrong about you then. You're no different from the rest of them. Fine. Then you can join your friends in hell. Stop this! Don't you dare use me as an excuse for what you've done. None of this has been for me, father. It's all been for you. Now I understand your selfishness and insanity has kept me here, seething with hatred and anger in a cold black abyss, unable to do anything, unable to move on. But that's over now. I won't let you hurt the ones who love, who really love me. Not anymore. Grace? Thank you, Holly. Thank you for telling me. Now run. Take Flynn and get out of here. I got Flynn. And I got the hell out. And what I saw... Damn. Well, they all dead dead now. I'm sorry, Flynn. I misjudged you. I thought it was you.
Whoa! If you want to keep a secret, you must always hide it from yourself. Benjamin Rivers, given the bracket. Benjamin Franklin. Three may keep a secret if two of them are dead. Margaret Atwood. The best way of keeping a secret is to pretend there isn't one. Courtesy of the Secrets, Paul. Monster Music is written various themes by Ivor Steins. Three things cannot long stay hidden the sun, the moon, and the truth. Do nothing secretly, for time sees and hears all things and discloses all. Extra sound credits. Nothing weighs on us heavily as a secret. Jean de La Fontaine. Ontario creates. This is the one of the great secrets of life that those things are most worth doing. We do for others. Lewis Carroll. I got an achievement! Secrets. So what time are you driving back to the city tomorrow? First thing in the morning. I want to get an early start and beat the traffic. Yeah, uh, that makes sense. It's, uh, it's going to take a while before things feel normal again, isn't it? Y'all just having a casual drink after the whole town be cut up and destroyed? Yeah, it will, but we'll get past this, Flynn. I'm sure eventually it'll get a little easier. I I hope so. But look at everyone else around us. It's only been a few weeks and it's like nothing ever happened. To imagine that so much violence, so much insanity happened right here in our little town. It's unthinkable. Maybe that's the problem. People don't really want to think about it and face the truth. Kind of like with me and Grace. Yeah, maybe you're right. Listen, Holly, we've been through so much, and well, what you said in the cemetery? Oh, Flynn, I'm so sorry, I blew it up at you. I, I didn't mean what I said. No, no, you were right. I wasn't ready to move on, but after all this, well, what choice do I have? A anyway, I was wondering, what was it you wanted to tell me? You know, when you first arrived for the reunion? Oh, um, don't worry about it, Flynn. It wasn't important. Are you sure? You you seem to have something on your mind. Y yeah, I'm sure. You you have enough to worry about after all this. I'll be right back. I uh just have to use the bathroom. Oh no, it's not over, is it? Holly, are you okay? Yeah, Sam. Don't worry. A glass just fell. Hey, wait a minute. Actually, I'm um, Flynn. On second thought, you you were right. Oh, was that Holly telling me to... Not Holly, Grace telling me to, to do it? It was a sign. There is something we should talk about. The end. Damn! Is that the, the last end? Like, the only end, I mean? Is that the only end? The game contains images and sounds of... Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I know there's other achievements by going through and playing a little differently, right? Because, like, you can play Hard Nightmare. Game saves automatically at checkpoint. Three lives only. Losing all three lives means you start over. Finish the game on hard difficulty to unlock this. Hell no! No, 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 no. I could probably do hard mode. But I'd do that for myself. And I think, I feel like we got the story. If not save for a different ending but that ending pretty much ties things up you know what i mean anyway what'd you all think this was this is pixel horror at its finest again this was really good this is good storytelling as well i they had me suspecting flynn 
sending me into the basement by myself. I thought it was up to shenanigans. Him popping up in random spots? Huh. Who knew? All in all, I think it was a pretty good game. Music, atmosphere, sound, graphics, the control was good. It flowed pretty well. Good puzzles. Good difficulty in puzzles as well. And it had a bit of challenge. So I can't imagine playing on this and then playing on this. I'm, I feel this can be confident, but maybe this would be like you only got one life. But anyway, thank you, everybody. Thank you for joining me. Let me know what you think. I really hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you all in the next game.